Hello my YouTube friends and welcome for a new video. So as you see on the title, we are going to transform this piece of cardboard into this artwork. So uh, to start off, I have uh, took this cardboard from an old IKEA furniture order and I thought it was great because it was thick and we have lots of uh, wavy texture in it so yeah I begin here by uh, turning torn I don't know how to say that the cardboard into the shape that I want you can do pretty much anything if you want to go like a live edge all around or a round piece so I'm starting here with a gesso. I'm going to uh, go with a pretty thick coat. I added two coats of gesso on this one, sanded, sanded between the, the two coats and then resand and then start to paint. I do this on also on the, the textured part just so the acidity from the cardboard will stay on the cardboard and not on my painting. Here you can see that I've uh, spray painted in gold the textured part just so I have a nice background for my gold leaf and we will not no longer see any um, a white gesso showing uh, through my gold leaf. So I'm starting here with my first coat with some greenish blue from Amsterdam, the white and yellow ochre. I like to have my first coat uh, blended like this. We in it's okay because we are going to go with a few other coats. As always on my painting, I like to work with mini coats. That's how I think you should work with acrylic paint because it's drying pretty quickly. So you can work as many coats as you want. So here I'm adding more uh, blue, mix it this time with a little bit of black, just so I have the, the nice, this nice shade that I like. I like to use these days this technique of adding a little bit of um, water, I mean I spray uh, some tiny drops of water and what it does, it removes some of the paint and it, you will leave with this uh, beautiful effect of little drops of color. Like little bubbles. So now it is time to add some more details and cracks. So I always like to use my technique with the wet brush and the painted the the paintbrush to add the colors. I I was inspired by a, a stone called Appetite. I encourage you to watch on Google in my image what this stone look like. You can really have many inspiration just by looking at minerals and you will have also nice color combo even if you don't want to have this uh, stone look and just want to paint abstract paint abstract art you can uh, yeah have those color combo mother nature gives you and it's always a match here I like also to use my uh, here dirty sponge just to create some nice little cells. I tend to use lots of white poscas and now in my new works I, I will not recommend to use this because I thought it was great but it, it is not as great because it is not 100% acrylic paint. And when you add varnish or just water, it will erase pretty uh, easily. And sometimes with varnish, it can erase uh, really uh, too much. And yeah, I recommend now to only use white acrylic paint with this technique. So now I'm going to make large shadows 
and for this I'm going just to use a little piece of tape and some dark blue acrylic wash and you will see when I will remove the tape we will have a nice blend and a nice shadow I'm going to repeat this three times I'm also going to do this technique with the white and you will see you will have some nice transparency and yeah glossy effect with the white also if you want to go further and watch the full video course you can now subscribe to my patreon page it's linked down in the description you can also just uh, subscribe to this channel and leave a like on this video i thank you for that so now it is time to add some white highlights and it's it will give like a beautiful uh, glare to the painting and almost like it's it's shine through something but there is nothing this is just acrylic paint but yeah i like to add these i'm going to add three highlights like this one in the center and two on both sides you can yeah you can do whatever you want I'd like also to reuse the piece of tape. This is the same piece that I've used for my blue and white. So now my painting is almost done. I'm going to add the gold leaf glue where I want my gold uh, to be. I'm using a, a small brush for the little lines and a larger brush from for the, the torn uh, cardboard parts so here is the video where I'm adding the gold I've not used my camera because I completely forget to film the, this part so I'm using here my uh, phone this is the video footage from a real video for Instagram but yeah I thought I will uh, use it you can clearly see here how we take advantage to the torn part of the cardboard and how it is looking fabulous. I'm completely in love with this texture. Uh, this texture sorry. I'm going also to make um, a larger piece with, I think maybe a round piece with cardboard because I really like uh, the, the result of this painting. I'm glazing here a little bit of blue on top of the coal just to melt everything together and here I'm adding the last details before um, applying the final varnish I'm going to add two coats of spray varnish in gloss and then I'm going to um, frame everything just to make sure that the, can, the cardboard will not warp it is a little bit warped here maybe you will not see on video but um, with the frame on you can really have a nice flat surface a huge thank you to all of my patrons here who help and support the channel so here is the finished painting I'm going to show you just after my uh, painting in the frame. It is a wood box that I've made and I've glued uh, the cardboard on top of it. So let me know if you've liked this video. Let me know if you have any question. I wish you all a great day and see you. Bye. Bye guys. <music>